Hi everyone. I'm here doing an episode of Flying Blind. My mother had a procedure done on Friday. It's been going kind of difficult, but I can't complain because it could be so much worse. How do you get through the point of knowing that things are happening with your parents and you not to freak out? I mean, you can't freak out because you got to be strong for them. But for you not to be worried, well, you're going to be worried. Like I told everyone, or like I've told you before, this is new. I've been, but now we're coming to the point where things are happening. And luckily, I'm the kind that knows some of the medical situations. So I'm helping in that forum, but it's difficult because she's, difficult not because she doesn't want to listen to me and I'm not gonna say she's difficult but she doesn't want to listen to me but as of late she has so this was the last thing I, I haven't been on here in a minute because I've been going through stuff but I wonder how people deal with it that don't have the know-how or how to do certain things regarding the medical industry so I took it I was really happy with the place that I took her to and they were really good. They're really good. But they took gave me an appointment for three weeks. So I called to make a long story short. I called and asked her if I can get an appointment sooner because she was in a lot of pain. Oh, no. Can't do it because it takes us three weeks to do an authorization. So I asked for the CPT codes and the um, UPI codes. And she gave them to me. But it was a little hesitant because she said that I didn't sign a, a consent form for my mother. Mind you, I took her. Mind you, mind you, I um, brought her there, made the appointment, did everything. But the 20 pieces of paper they gave me, they didn't give me the consent form for her to authorize me. So I had to come home and do that. Anyway, I got the authorization. We got in there the first time. But I was sitting there and I was wondering, what happens when somebody doesn't know how to do that? And you have to wait the three weeks in pain because you don't know that you can get the authorization a little quicker yourself. I'm, I'm fortunate enough to know that these things I can do. I'm fortunate enough and blessed enough to know that how to get through some of the loopholes of this medical industry, even though, you know, it's difficult. I can't imagine an older person trying to do it. So I'm going to be doing interviews still, but I'm going to be chiming in my own situation. Now my mom's recovering. I just left there and I'm in the process of, you know, doing stuff, cooking, um, walking the dog, what I usually did before, but now she's not able to do as much as she used to, and she's upset by that. And I just told her, she says, the worst thing for me is not being able to do nothing. So I'm going to tell her, it's your time to rest. This is your time because you have to recoup. Um, I'm just giving you this little piece because it's been on my heart. I haven't been on here in a minute. So I want you guys to keep out looking, flying blind, caregiver stories. Other things are coming too, but this is where I'm at right now. So I thought I would share that with you and other things will be shared. So today they said if the pain doesn't go away to come back and we'll see how she's feeling by midday. We're waiting for some medication to see if that's going to work. So ciao everybody. Flying blind, caregiver story. See you soon.